hello, hello. You all have caught me uh, working on a small project here of moving these big round bales over so that we'll have space to bring our new straw bales in. I'm thinking, I don't know for sure, but just from what we could see, I'm thinking that we will probably have, oops, wrong button. We will probably have this many straw bales. So I'd like to put them in here in this bay. But I wanted to move those over just in case I miscalculated and we end up having to put more there. But these are hay, hay bales. Uh, I also wanted to uh, give everybody a, a chance to w wish the Silo King uh, well, because we're going to go ahead and return it today. Uh, I may re-up re on this, but I don't want to pay the leasing fee for it again for the next three or four days. Um, so we're going to go ahead and return that. Yes, return has been returned here let, let me show you let me show you why I did that if you go in here uh, to animals there it is right here the price for this I was paying you know so you have the base thousand and then you pay per operating hour and if you looked I made several batches and I was at point three hours so I wasn't having to pay this much but I was paying this per day several times. So basically, when I need to make another batch of TMR, I don't know that that price makes sense. Uh, this smaller one's a little bit less money, but it, it almost makes sense to get it, make several batches, fill the meter, and then return it. Or, you know, I could pony up and buy it for Forty-one thousand, but um, oops, yeah. So that's that's gone for a few days. If you look in our animal productivity section here, we have this almost thirty-five thousand liters of TMR. So we'll wait until it gets down pretty low. We can keep them alive with our silage and hay. We don't need TMR. That just helps with their overall milk production. It gives milk production a boost. So. Anyways, welcome back. If you uh, were not with us in the last episode, we have a few different things we're working on here. We are baling the straw in this field, and we are getting we're um, you know getting the oats. We're harvesting the oats in this field, and what I was doing was um, putting this one on. Yeah, like I said, this is going to be the only crooked row in the field because I did it. The row come, <laughs> coming back. But we'll go ahead and uh, do one one row here while I have everybody's attention. Thanks so much for checking out this series. If you are new to the channel, I'm so glad to have you. I'd love it if you drop a subscription. I don't like to be that guy who's like, like and subscribe and go back for more. But honestly, it does help us out. It helps YouTubers out a lot. If uh, you're not familiar with how the platform works, those of us that have under a thousand subscribers don't make a dime off of the productions that we create. It's a hobby and it's just for fun. And I'm, I'm happy to have it <laughs> be a hobby just for fun, but I'd love it if I could also get, you know, be able to put a couple ads on here or at least be able to get my share of the revenue of the ads that are put on here. Uh, so yeah, that would be that'd be fantastic if if uh, you would subscribe and if you have you know a spare account that you don't really use and you want to drop a sub with that account too, um, I'm not telling you to do it, but I'm saying it would help. <laughs> I'm saying it would help. No, but but genuinely, um, what what helps us most is to have people like and subscribe but but engagement you know so a comment down below about hey this made me think of my pappy's farm or hey i like playing this map too um, wow you're so stunningly handsome i've seen you on your twitter page whatever you know 
kidding, obviously. But any kind of engagement with our with our content, especially if it's real engagement and not some kind of you bot, but somebody actually who just enjoys what they're watching, that's honestly the best thing for for YouTube. Because the platform wants to reward people who are creating worthwhile content. And that's really what I strive to do, is to, to play games that I enjoy in a way that I enjoy and share that engagement with other people. Um, yeah, so if, if, this is, if this is a series that you like watching, you know, using what I think is pretty unique equipment uh, in, a, in a way that is pretty typical of the area that I have grown up in and continue to live in, and if it resonates with you, it, it helps me out a lot. And, you know, if you share it with your friends who would enjoy this kind of stuff too, like genuine sharing, not not me trying to spam my link around like some kind of some kind of salesman, but people who enjoy it uh, organically sharing it, that really helps. But anyways, back to the game. Um, yeah, we're, we're down here in the dust. We're inside a bale right now, so let's give you a, a dust dust eye view of life in the baler back here this is this is much more well, they should have that up at the front too <laughs> i mean obviously it's dustier back at the baler but whoa 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 come on now let's keep it keep it all four wheels on the ground um it's obviously dustier back at the baler but it's still pretty dang dusty up in the cab too it's hot. Bailing is always hot. <laughs> um, we're going to need to move that tractor. Maybe on the next lap, I'll move that tractor. I'm excited to see how much we can sell the Earths for tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I know it's not all about the money, like... But it kind of is all about the money in a Save the Farm series. I don't. I hope you guys are enjoying the concept. Uh, just to give us a goal, you know, it, it costs money to build everything. I made some really dumb decisions when I was setting up the farm initially. There were some tractors that I bought and sold, and there were some things, some equipment that I leased that I didn't end up really needing. I just, I didn't play it. Uh, I didn't make good financial decisions with with the farm early on, which is why I'm in this position. But it also gives us a nice little, like almost like a start from scratch kind of goal of let's make sure what we have, you know, that our farm is productive so we can farm it. <laughs> uh, okay, so. Maybe I'll go empty this on the fly and then run and dump it. It's funny to call anything on the fly as slow as this is, but kind of neat seeing this operation, though. I'll say that. So that one's a farm mall, and this one's an international. Huh. guess I didn't realize that. Somebody commented on one of these videos, one of the first ones I did, about how this shouldn't be a turbo. And that's cool. I appreciate people giving like accurate feedback like that. I think my reply was a little bit snarky because I basically said, well, you know, beggars can't be choosers. I'm just glad to have some old farmals, old internationals to play with. And I think this model looks really good. Like... It might not be perfect, but I'm happy with it. I like it a lot. Happy to play, use it. I've since seen several other models. Uh, Scooter's Workbench did uh, 460 and 560 that just recently came out. I want to incorporate them in an upcoming series. All, all sorts of stuff like that. All right, we'll let you get turned around. I'm going to put this down here oops I meant to hit that button okay so now we should be able to get this finished up soon and 
Yeah, we'll be able to go dump this first load of bales hopefully quite soon. I don't know if we're going to get as many bales as the as the hay. Now that I look at it, maybe I maybe we won't. Maybe I moved those three round bales for nothing. I'll never get back that three minutes of my life. I, I had a grain, no, I didn't have a grain truck. I had a flatbed on this farm. Um, but I was thinking about getting a grain truck. And, you know, it's nice to have the gravity wagon, but since I don't have a pickup to pull it, to take it to the sell point, I was thinking about either getting a pickup or getting a grain truck. And, um, yeah, it's just all these little things. It's like, oh, that's only 20,000. <laughs> this entire harvest is going to yield us, like, maybe 30 if we're lucky. So do we really want to spend the majority of that on a truck that we can function without? You know, that's kind of where I'm at. So should I do the whole, I think the answer is yes. I'm not even going to finish my question. I was going to say, should I do the whole headland? And I think yes, because then we won't drive on it every time we turn around. I love that they brought this in. Listen. Pretty cool. Love that audio. There's a... Are you serious? Me putting that tractor there so that it's out of the way. Me, three minutes later. Oh, thank goodness for those hitboxes. I did miss just a little bit, but I should be able to get it later. Um... Anyways, there's a, there's like a plunger thing on the baler. Oh, don't run into our wagon. Don't run into our wagon. We made it. Do you like how I made that? Like it was an action sequence. Like we weren't going seven miles an hour and six miles an hour. It was like, don't have a crash. It's like the matrix farming. It's like, anyways. So what I was trying to say about this baler is there's there's like a little arm in there that smashes what you're bailing. So like the straw is going in over here, right? Over on the side. That's picking it up, but then there's like a little plunger in there that smashes it so that when it comes out, it's compacted into those little, they're called like leaves, I think, or folds or something like that. It's kind of neat. So it just keeps compacting it and compacting it and compacting it. And then it ties it into a rectangle that you can load onto your wagon until your wagon is full. Oh, perfect timing. We're going to just push this manually so that the... That's not what we wanted. Okay, so I always have to do this. So that's the back one. No. Why? Okay, there it is. Now we scoop this forward, unhook this here. Probably by the time we get done with this, it's going to be time to empty the grain out, which is fine. Okay, so don't, don't flip. Don't flip. I mean, actually, the nice thing about an auto load trailer is even if it flips, it's not that hard to fix it because you just hit a button and they load back in. But in the interest of playing somewhat realistically, we don't want to be flipping our stuff. This is the best part of playing a game and not doing it in real life, bailing. 
Uh, okay, so we want, I'm terrible, I'm absolutely terrible at backing up a four wheel trailer. So, yeah, as, as, as you can see. So what we want to do is pull this up. And now we can do this. Oh, it's really hard to see, but over on the right side of the wagon, you can see those two little white lines. I might actually have to do a circle here, but there's a there's buttons to pull. See now, now it's over further to the to our right. We didn't want to go that way, so we want to go. We want to hit this button and bring it back. We want to go backward so you can see where the lines are it's gonna put them way back there so what we need to do is get gosh the camera work with this is gonna be atrocious so that's not terrible what we're gonna do we're gonna try to circle around here again and we want to stop so that the back of the wagon is, don't run into our other tractor. Why did I leave that there? Okay. All right, so now it's gonna go right on top of our hay. So we need to move it this way. Okay, let's actually come up to the original position. Now we're going to go backward. Um, okay. I appear to have made a mistake. Shocking, I know. I know that's so hard for you to believe that I have screwed up a tool that I've used a dozen times. But I have. I've screwed it up. I will eat my humble pie. Now, a better virtual farmer than me would just be able to back the four-wheel trailer up. I, however, am terrible. And I cannot do that properly. So I am going to. Did I miss mess this up again? Okay, one more time. One more time. We need to go basically where that other tractor was. And we'll be fine. Right? And those weeds. If I drive this so that it's going straight in the weeds right here this should be now go back the rest of the way and we hit Y to unload and there you have it it could it be straighter of course but they're in the barn you know they're in there let's go get the rest of our work done Leave your dislikes and your hate in the comments. I can handle it. Maybe. I'll cry privately. Okay. Auto load is not on. Now it's on. So we'll go pick up these. Oops. Really? Well, if that's not a summary of the last 10 minutes of me playing this game, I don't know what is. Okay, we'll put that there. Bring this around. Man, that... I'm feeling like the combine should be telling me it's full soon, you know? Right? There we go. Get this on here. Is it spinning? Is it down? 
Okay, it's down, it's spinning. Get the wheels turned. All right, I know we're missing a few little bits there, but it's fine. That's loading. Combine didn't send me an error message yet. <laughs> error message, whatever that's called. Warning message. So we'll just keep going. We're going to keep rocking it. Hopefully we get it all done here pronto. It's going to take a little bit of time. I'm thinking another... Another... IRL half hour, probably. But then we won't have to bail straw anymore in the rest of the series. We can do cash crops like soybeans. Or probably realistically silage. I don't know why I said that with such disdain. Probably silage. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I have to play this game for fun. Grow silage. What a miserable existence. I don't, I don't know wh where these voices are coming from. I apologize. Um, yeah, so the last time I took a load of silage up, I think it was $7,000. And it was 21,000 liters. So we have like... Two hundred and twenty-nine thousand liters, and that's still curing or whatever you call that, fermenting. So if you add this fifty grand to that, two hundred and seventy thousand is a lot of those trips. I mean, basically, what I'm saying is, I don't want this series to just be me driving loads of silage up there over and over and over again. But what I may start doing is maybe like after I record an episode, run a load up <laughs> and pay down the debt 5000 and then come back and do something else in the next episode. Just, just to slowly chip away at it. Because we're so close. We're so close now. All right. That's got to be getting, speaking of getting close to things, that's got to be close to... So I'll go back this way, and then when I come back down, I'll move the grain cart. Cart? Wagon? Grain? Gravity wagon. Why is it missing those bits at the end there? Huh. That's odd. I mean, I can get them manually. It's not a big deal. Oh, I bet it's that change in elevation. It doesn't like putting, it doesn't like having to uh, go uphill like that. I bet that's what it is. Huh, interesting. Yeah, this will be maybe not another full load, but it's going to be a lot of bales still. We'll be good. This will be enough straw to see us through the end of the series. I'm thinking some loads of silage, some some milk. Oh, look at that. Did I call that timing or what? Some loads of silage, some milk sales, and these oats, and a soybean harvest or two. And we'll be good to go. We'll be good as gold. <clears throat> No, 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 no. Ah, 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 ah. Nope. Okay. Sorry, I just, I didn't want it to start turning around because then I'd have to drive in the grain and I don't want to do that. I'd rather drive on the straw. Now, is this going to pour, or did it not extend all the way? Okay, good, good, good. Lovely. 
I like when it does this when there's nobody in it. Like, who hits the button? Question mark. I don't know why stuff like that entertains me, but it does. It does, it does. Alrighty. We're so close to being done. All right. Here's, you know, here's the question. We're sitting at 25 minutes on the episode, and I'm sitting here thinking, oh, it's just a short, you know, half hour left. But nobody wants to watch an hour of Farm Sim, right? 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 Except all of us. Hello? Just kidding. Um, I'm going to run this grain over. I don't know. Yeah. Then I'm going to tab over and finish. The harvesting. I feel like after how how good I did at backing up or not backing up the straw wagon, I feel like I might potentially not want to do that on stream or on uh, video. <laughs> oh gosh, people are gonna be like, "Man, he thinks he can be a YouTuber. He's terrible at this game." Both things are true. I do think I can be a YouTuber, and I think I'm not super great at the game. It's okay, though. You know, we're here We're here having fun. That's what this is all about. This is the fun havingest time ever. Look at that. That's so cool. I took a picture of it last episode, so I don't need to take it again. But it still just warms my heart seeing the picturesque scenes of New Woodshire. Uh, I guess we'll get these two when we come come by getting this row. I didn't even notice those. They must have went under the wheels. So picturesque. I'm thinking about doing a Save the Farm Season 2 on a different map with different equipment, but similar premise, trying to make it work, trying to make good decisions to uh, get back out of debt. But I don't want to get the proverbial cart before the horse. We still have several episodes of this left. Um, Probably, I would think, at least four, maybe six, before we can even get close. We're still almost $200,000 in debt. I'm just sitting here like, yeah, we're about to make thirty grand. It's basically over now, <laughs> which is, of course, not true. Uh, we're going to lose, like like I said, three grand tonight. We won't, I don't think we'll lose the full 500 for that TMR mixer, at least. There's that. At least. Ha! Ha! Sorry, that was a really bad joke. At, get it? At least? Because it was least? Never mind. Never mind. King of the dad jokes. If you have to explain the joke, it was not that funny. And I know none of you are laughing at it. So, here we go. Look at this. Look at that perfect size swath. Oh, yeah. Gotta love it. Can we do this? Is this epic? Yes or check yes or no. If the in cab harvesting is your favorite part, let me know in the comments. I'm I'm game. Whoa, holy game chug! All I did was look out the window. Oh my word! Can you imagine, like, actually operating one of these? I know some of you watching probably do or have. But I have not driven a combine IRL. I've driven a lot of the other machines, but not a combine. Just seems so very intimidating. A lot could go wrong, which is why they never let me do it. Okay, here we go. Um, so we've got 1,700 in here. 1,700 oats. 
So I think what we're going to do here, uh, I'm going to take this to the yard and I will probably bid you all adieu. This is kind of cool, driving this first person. Uh, I'm going to open the auger. Open? Is that the word I want? Extend the auger so we can get that. Oh, of course it didn't. <laughs> of course it didn't. Why, why would it have done that? It can't possibly dump out while I'm elsewhere. Anyways, we'll get this uh, in here. We'll get it up into the silo and I'll probably call it a call it a night and I will catch you all in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Bluebelly. Bye for now.